Oh hey, so you wanna learn how to read guitar pedal schematics? No problem, I will teach you in one minute. Let's start! Three, two, one, go! So here's an example of guitar pedal circuit and all the lines represent connection between parts. Here we have our input, input signal from guitar and output to amp. Here we have our positive rail from power supply and negative rail, also called ground or just GND. Here you can see resistor symbols. If you don't know those parts, please check my previous video and in 5 minutes you will learn all essential parts in guitar pedals. Link in right corner. Here you can see electrolytic capacitor symbols. As you see, we use few of them in the circuit. It looks like this. As you see on an electrolytic capacitor symbol there's a plus sign, so be sure to place it in a right angle. And remember, shorter leg is negative. Those symbols are used for all others not polarized capacitors. They look like this. Here you can see NPN BJT transistor symbol. I also mentioned about them in my previous video, so be sure to check it. In this schematic we don't have any integrated circuits, so actually don't worry, I will tell about them in next videos. Here you can see potentiometer symbol. As you see it's similar to a resistor, but actually it has one more leg and it's called wiper. And it's a middle leg. And the last parts in the schematics are diodes. That's the symbol of diode. Actually in a final build I didn't use D2 and D3. Because I wanted less distortion and more headroom. So yeah, that's all. I hope everything is clear now and you're ready to read schematics of any guitar pedals. In my next video I will show you how I build this modified big math pedal and actually probably I will give it away to someone. So yeah, be sure to subscribe my channel, leave a thumb up, leave a comment and share my video. Thanks. Cheers.